It's like a morning. And summer's really returned now. Well, you hear the air conditioning going like a mad thing in the background. So, the house I went to passed the site survey. So we're now on our way back over today. And we're gonna get this EV charging unit installed. And uh, we'll see you over there. So here's the unit we're installing. It's a high VO Mini Pro 3 charger. Um, got pen fault detection in it, but doesn't have an RCD, which is why we're using one upstream in the, in the consumer unit. So, got to start to get it apart, to get it on the wall. Um, the instructions on how to put this in are actually online. So, I'm going to put the PDF on here to try and get this on the wall. So, I actually recommend you get this on the wall. Oops, I need to get it right around. I recommend they get this on the wall first, and then you've got to go around all these connections and making sure the wall tight before you go any further. We're going to bring the cable through this wall here as close to there as I can manage it. We need to check to make sure there's not an RSJ going through there because if there is, we might have to rethink our plans. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole through there, see what, uh, see if it goes through okay, and then we'll enlarge it. The diameter of the cable is 17 mil. I've got a 16 SDS drill bit. That might be enough, but we'll see when we do it. I've got it going through, and we're going to go, we are actually going to go on this wall. Oops. Yeah, so I am going to go and find my marker pen and get it up on the wall. Right, so just to give you an idea where we're up to. So we've got the that on the wall. We've had this got that all you know, that all stripped back. It is not a very really nice day, but at least it's not raining at the moment. Um, so yeah, so we've got that on the board. Strip this all back. Uh, this Doncaster cable that we've got that we're using, EV Ultra. 6 mil cable we're using, so we we're actually just putting this on the wall. Uh, we're using, uh, we get off the floor, using those to clip this up rather than using the older uh, cleats. Uh, so we're using these, we're using, because I think they, they, they look nicer. So we're just going to get that clipped to the wall, and then once we've got it clipped, then we can work on getting these terminated into the into the box and then we can work on the inside. Right, <clears throat> I've clipped this up. I have to admit, I'm not sure whether I like these D-line clips instead of cleats. I'm, mm, I'm not sure. I mean, the cable's on the wall, it's not gonna come off. But I'm not sure, uh, don't know. Be interested to see what other people think of these uh, D-line EV clamps whether you'd use these or whether you'd use the usual cleats I'm not, I'm not sure don't know you never think about that so as you can see I've used cleats to get that cable up there and what we're going to do is we're going to bring the cable into the top of that consumer unit as you can see I've stripped it all back already and because and I'll show you inside this in a bit there's not a lot of room in here, we can't put the CT clamp in there, so it's going to have to go in the cupboard. So I've already drilled a hole here for the CT cable, that's coming up here. That's going into this little junction box, I'll show you what's in there in a bit. <coughs> and then, whoops, the Ethernet cable here, I'm going to use one of the pairs here to get out the CT clamp, which is in there, back to the... EV charger. This cable is actually going to come through the consumer unit all the way through and I'm going to put a little hole there and bring it down. These old consumer units, this cover goes right to the wall so you're actually having to go, there's holes inside but not in the cover so you have to drill a hole in the cover top and bottom in order to get the cable in. Uh, anyway, so there's not a lot of room in there but I'll show you what we're doing there in a minute. Um, that's the only way that I've that we've discovered that we can do this. So that's what we're going to have to do. So I'm going to go and terminate these cables in the EV charger box, and then come back and we'll start terminating these into the new uh, circuit breaker, which is currently sitting there. And we'll get that in and we'll do all of that. Yeah, so possibility is that this board is going to be changed 
in the near future. If it does, there'll be loads of room in there to do all this work, so we can do that then. But for now, we're having to compromise and, like I say, I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, quick update. So we've done all the wiring within the box, that's all done. And we're going to use the orange and white pair of cables in the um, shielded cable, this thing. Um, and I'll show you in a sec. So I've made the adaptations to the board, that's been done. I've shortened the cables to roughly the length that they're going to be. Uh, like I said, we've mounted the uh, junction box. As you can see, we're using these clever gadgets, which I normally use for LED lights. But um, I think these will do the job nicely for extending the CT cable. So I've got a red and white wire there for the CT cable. Uh, and it's red and white within the uh, EV charger. And then what we're going to use are the orange and white pair to connect that up because it's the orange and white pair that I've used in the EV charger and that should get the CT clamp done while they're in put the new 40 amp in and then we can get it on I've done the uh, continuity test that came out at 0.08 for the new cable and done insulation resistance tests that came out greater than 2 mega ohm, 2000 mega ohms, sorry so the testing's all done so it's all fine uh, like I said did the RCD test the other day but I'll repeat those uh, once we finish doing the cabling, so just need to get the power off, give, finish the wiring, and then we can start on the on the app uh, and start commissioning it all. So I couldn't video um, while I was doing this bit, so I took a picture uh, just to show you what a mess this board is. There's hardly any room to do anything in here. Uh, you certainly couldn't do it neatly. So um, I put the cables in as best I could. Um, and then close the box back up. Um, luckily, as I said, this board is looking like it's going to get replaced in the near future anyway, so I'll be able to strip out all these wires and get it done properly. Um, but yeah, not not great. Right, if you've never used shielded twisty pair before, the shielding is this metal foil which I've got cut back here. Now, that wouldn't be a problem normally, and it's certainly not going to be a problem in the... Uh, Junction box that we're putting in there it won't be a problem there, but it is a problem inside the Wee. inside the EV charger because what you don't want you don't want that foil touching the circuit boards or anything else inside. So once you've cut it back as much as you possibly can, what I what I've done is I've stuck a little bit of insulating tape around the end of the cable, just around that bit there, uh, just to make sure that that metal foil won't touch anything inside the box when it's sealed up. So just bear that in mind. Don't leave that exposed where you could short out the circuit board. Right, so that's all finished, on, yeah. all installed, all the apps done. Yeah, quite pleased with that. Right, so... I'll see you on the next one.